What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, guys? I am Manny the Phenom here with another comic book review. This is my fourth comic book review. My first three were, boom, Thanos Quest, amazing, must read. Boom, Rebirth of Thanos, amazing, must read. And my third one was Captain Marvel Secret Invasion, good, not a must read, but if you're if you, if you like Captain Marvel, interesting read. Uh, it's not bad at all. It's not bad. great artwork, uh, good writing. Uh, it's worth a read, uh, especially if you're only renting it from the library. Um, it was good. It was good. So I'm continuing the Jim Starlin theme. Jim Starlin uh, wrote all this, uh, the whole Thanos origins and Thanos quest and uh, Infinity Gauntlet stuff. He he made Thanos, so he's a big part of the making of the whole universe and cosmic circle i don't know <laughs> but he's the reason for the infinity, infinity gauntlet but yeah so uh i went on, i went on the library site and typed in jim starlin so i started renting everything from jim starlin so apparently he made this comic called breed and when i opened it i saw this little number i was like oh shoot image comics i didn't know he went over to image i know he worked for marvel or dc and he was bouncing around a lot i didn't i didn't know he ended up on an image so he made his own series breed his own creation his own characters he wrote it uh, penciled it um, I'm not sure if he colored it he, he may have but uh, wow that's a lot of work to make your own comic book I have to do that do that someday as well but um, at the moment I don't know how to write and I don't know how to make panels and I don't know how to letter and I don't know how to uh, do anything but I guess I'll learn yeah, it's really interesting to read a comic that that doesn't involve a superhero that I already know. Like I love Marvel because I love I know all those characters and it's cool to see their stories and and uh, and just see their the history just further develop. And um, you have this new character breed and uh, it's, it was weird. Just um, you have to be patient too since you don't know what's going on. You don't know the characters. You have to be patient and let things develop. You know. It's like watching an indie movie, like it might be really good, but you kind of have to sit there, relax, and just let things develop. <clears throat> the artwork, um, Jim Starlin drew this. The artwork is, is kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's a little shoddy, like shoddy, shotty. Sounds like I'm trying to say shorty. Shoddy, S-H-O-T-T-Y. Like the, hat, the hatching, like it's not as clean as I've seen in um, other comics comics before this, after this, during this time, like, this is really rough, I mean, since he did it himself, I guess he wasn't gonna sit there and do everything perfect, but, um, the, the art is good enough, so, for you to understand what's happening, um, this, the military entered this town, and they're just seeing, it's a bloodbath, so, you don't know what's going on, um, I didn't know what was going on either, I was so confused, and I didn't know what was going on until, like, I was done with the comic, you know, I was just trying to figure out. I had to go back a couple times to see what's going on. But he entered this room, and it's some naked chick. And then, um, this chick, this naked chick has a baby. And this baby is who this braid guy is. So apparently she was raped by a demon. And after she had that baby, she was, she was in that state the rest of her life. For the next, uh, like, 30 years, she was in the hospital bed just in that state. And she would have night terrors just screaming. But she never talks. <laughs> oh, my God. And, uh, just very dark. So this military dude keeps the baby and, um, adopts the baby as his own. You see this, um, water here. This, this person is, like, looking in this well or this... I don't know what you would call it, but there's water and, uh, just watching, waiting. Alright, so the boy's growing up, he's a military guy he's trying to raise him as a Christian or whatever. The boy ends up going into the military, and, uh, in v this is Vietnam, he gets captured, they're being shot at, his whole platoon dies, and, um, he's, he's about to die, he's surrounded, and then, like, this, the beast. The demon awakens that he doesn't know about. So he's being, sh he's going ham. He's killing everyone. <laughs> he threw this gun through someone's stomach. I love that. Um, 
But look, he, then he gets ambushed. He's get everyone's just piling all, pile on him, and he just scatters them. And very violent. Uh, just a lot of this guy punches like his freaking skull in. Um, he just lays everyone away. And uh, here he's the demon. But he passes out. He wakes up in a hospital bed. He doesn't remember anything. Uh, he ends up he, when, when he gets back from the war, he ends up becoming a, um, a drug addict because that happens to a lot of uh, vets, man. They don't have a place in, in civilization anymore. They don't know what to do with themselves, and life isn't as exciting as it used to be. And they just know things and seen things that other people haven't, so it's hard to relate to regular people, you know. So he's a drug addict now. He he, he takes his acid. He goes on a trip. He ends up going down the going down the street and um apparently this thing is here all the time this door is just walking down the street this this is here all the time as mysterious as it looks it's not like it just appeared out of nowhere it's there all the time he opened it and um he enters this <gasps> excuse me this city so he, he he goes in he looks at the water he looks into the lake he's seeing things and he doesn't like it he sees that the woman, this is his actual mom, she disappears, which was interesting because, um, I don't know what she's doing here, right now she's in a hospital bed, like in actuality she's in a hospital bed, so I don't know why he saw her here, oh, 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 you know what, I just remembered, <laughs> this monster in here, he, he's a telepath, so he drew... He drew my my man in here. He drew he drew him into the room, and uh, he wants to try to kill him. And he's trying to fight him like this. That the cloaked person throws him a sword. He's trying to fight, not working, not working. And then he turns into the monster. Oh, you want to see a cool image? This was a cool image. You remember when I said uh, the art was kind of shoddy? Well, this is the best art here. I love I love this right here. Jim Starlin did a great job drawing this. Like the muscles, the shadow, um, looks beautiful. This I love this freaking pose. This is such an impactful action pose. Uh, I love. I love. Um, it's hard to draw a bending knee. It's very hard, and he just he did it perfectly. Uh, the, the the knee coming in the forefront, like po pointing forward and bending. He, he captured that beautifully in the curve of the leg. Uh, he just did a great job. The muscles look great. I love the hair on the chest. Uh, let me see if I can get it closer. Yeah, Jim, that was a great, great drawing. Great drawing. And then uh, this part, I love the feet right here, the bending of the toes. Like, this stuff is uh, not easy to draw. Hands and toes and feet, like, looks good. I, lo I love this swipe here. Right through the mouth. Looks awesome. I love the lip here. You can see the thickness. Look at this. Man, I love that. That is intense. Intense. Anyways, this person here um, reveals themselves. It's, it's actually a girl. But what happens is uh, this, she ends up training him and um, kind of almost against his will, but he ends up Staying with her, you know, and uh, she trains them in martial arts. Funny, right? She knows kung fu and whatnot. <laughs> so uh, he learns kung fu. They're best friends. He ends up staying there for a year, and um, he keeps looking into the well and seeing his mom. So he goes to find her. He goes to the hospital. This was crazy. This was, this part was crazy. He's just apologizing to her, like, I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Or, I don't know how to help you. I'm sorry for everything you've gone through. Uh, he ends up, he turns into the the monster, or a little bit, he, he starts shifting, well, as he's suffocating her. She's fighting, fighting, and then let's go. She's dead. Killed his own mom. Bad stuff. So they're just sparring, and um, they're looking into the well again. This part was cool. Check this part out, guys. There's... Uh, they don't know, they can't control what they see. Things just pop up. And you have this uh, fortress, whatever. And they're looking at these monsters. Oh shit, look at these guys. Oh no. 
and they're like, they see us, and they turn around, and they're aware that they're being watched, and they just, it's a really intense moment, they freak out, like, they were spying on these guys, and they turn around, and they look back, it's pretty scary, and now they're out for them, it was like, ah, splash it, get out of there, so they, now they have to get, they're packing up and getting out of that place, because, uh, they're, they're, people are coming to kill them, these guys. Now what a breed is, a breed is um, half human, half demon. Because these demons come to the, the our earth, our planet, and they'll mate with humans. And then here comes the breeds. And then they, they all shift into the, the demons. And this is, this is an all out war, they're fighting and da 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 da. Um, some cool action. Um, the breed here has to do some thinking strategizing to beat these guys he's, he's outnumbered by a lot um, oh the water also heals so he was stabbed and he uses the water to heal himself this guy's the leader of that whole group he ends up killing the chick or Rachel um, Breed kills the leader drops her in the well and that's what she wanted and um, he quits. He's like he retires. Like he doesn't want this life. So he goes off to retire and go out into the real world and be left alone. And that that was Breed. I know there's more books of Breed too. I don't know how many more, but I know there's definitely another one. Uh, so to I I commend Jeff Allen for creating his own comic book. That is a lot of work. Um, I've read a lot of his stuff and I've seen his other artwork, but those are, those are being helped by a lot of other people. To make your own comic is, is crazy. So I commend him for that. The story was very interesting. Um, what I mean by that is, I don't think I've ever read something quite like this. It's, I don't know if I want to say original, but, um. I don't know. Would I recommend someone reading this? Uh, not necessarily. I'm not. This is not a must read for me. Not a must read. It, I'm, I'm a big fan of Jim Starlin, so I, I had to read this. But I'm not gonna tell someone like this is like the most original thing, just amazing artwork. Like you have to read this, like because that's not the case. It was a cool story. Um, it was a little boring at times. Kind of some some stuff were pretty pretty corny. Some things are really corny. Like <laughs> uh, some stuff just didn't make sense, you know. I'm gonna teach you kung fu. Okay. Some stuff are really corny. Uh, but I, I I'll probably get since I read all of it. I, I'll probably get the book too. This is how it goes into six issues. It looks like uh, on on this one. Um, but I'll probably get book two to just see where this guy's character goes. But it was, it was a little, it was, it was pretty corny. But there, there are some scenes that were just pretty intense that kept me interested. Like that was, I did not expect that. I was like, oh my god. But maybe in book two things pick up and I get more interesting. Um, I can't. It's only this is only six issues here, so I can't judge a book by its cover, you know. But uh. I'll, I'll give it uh, another chance and read book two. All right, guys. Uh, this was Breed, the book of Genesis. So uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, I'm new to the whole comic book review. So let me know what you guys thought of this review and, and how I can make them better. Any tips? Maybe uh, I was reading too slow or I wasn't showing the artwork enough. Or just let me know how I can be more entertaining for you guys and, and make these better. So we would appreciate if you left feedback. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, see you in the mouth.